up here. Ooh, now it looks like he's going to come and poop another changeling to see what's going on. He does. Although, I don't know, I probably just would have ran all the way in, checked it out, and maybe even dropped it an infested Terran uh, into the mineral line to cause some harassment on TLO. Double armor he's coming down uh, for TLO, so I'm curious to see what we're going to see. I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. Uh, we've got a Hellion out in the field now being uh, used, looks like, to scout of... S yeah, must be to scout. Add-ons now for the barracks, so just the one coming in. Maybe that's to get concussive shells or stim or shields, I don't know. He's going heavy marines, so maybe shield. And double tech labs coming down on these factories, so obviously he's going to use the armories to upgrade ground weapons and armor. And, uh, yeah, Hellion now getting taken out by the swarm of Zerglings. Still just the one infester on the field and a bunch of metabolic boosted Zerglings. Quite a few. Second infester coming out. And we don't have any real saturation here on the natural expansion for Splato. No queen yet. Needs to pump one of those out so that he can start producing more and more larva. Of course, that is the main macro mechanic for the Zerg players. Is, uh the spawn larva. Uh, back in StarCraft 1, of course, people just spammed hatcheries and used that way to produce more and more and more units, but now they have queens and they don't have to get quite as many hatcheries. Alright, Splato's uh, overseer still hanging out at the north of the base, and it looks like we're getting a reactor here on the factory. We are getting the infernal pre-igniter. Uh, for the Hellions to upgrade their damage versus light. He likely seen all of these Zerglings and said, hmm, I'm going to go for some Hellions. Uh, Hellions and Thors. Thor now trying to take out this Overseer. Looks like the Overseer didn't drop a, uh, a Changeling this time, but he's just going to go ahead and scout out the base. He does drop a Changeling, and I don't think Tiela noticed it, so... Going to go virtually unseen here. Maybe if he sees this moving around. Nope, just puts it right next to all the other Marines. So his sight, he is going to see what's going on. He sees this extra command center. So uh, we'll have to see if he's... Yeah, he's going to lift it off and come here. And he's probably going to go for Planetary Fortress. Reaper's now coming out as well from the barracks here. Uh, I'm not sure why, but a couple doesn't hurt, I guess. Splato really not expanding. Uh, getting a spire here, it's almost completed. And what? He, um, that spire was like 95% of the way done and he cancelled it. Did, uh, TLO get to see it? No, TLO did not see that, so I'm not sure why he cancelled it. Maybe it was a blunder. Uh, if he did, he's probably screaming obscenities now, but... Hey, what can I say if that's what he wants to do? Looks like he was saving larva up for something. He's already got six here, so no longer producing any natural larva. And that's really important. You don't want to do that, as it really does hinder uh, your larva production and your unit production. And ooh, lots of infestors coming out here. But with the infernal pre-igniters on these hellions, they are going to be able to uh, cause massive damage to these erglings. Uh, the infestors definitely need a neural parasite, or not neural parasite, fungal growth, the hellions when they can, and then allow the zerglings to get a good surround. Uh, vehicle weapon and plating level 2 now coming up for uh, TLO, as he's got some tanks. No siege tech for the tanks yet. Is he getting it? He is. About 25% of the way done. Planetary Fortress is now coming up, like I had thought, and he's getting some supply depot. So, nice job here, actually. A lot of people, players don't really think about this, but if you guard off, especially against Zerg, as Zerglings can be kind of annoying when they get a surround on your planetary fortress. Uh, it causes you so that you can't uh, you can't repair it quite as quickly. But anyways, lots of um, Hellions here, all of them actually getting uh, fungal growth, but in bad positions, and they actually take out quite a few of these infestors and all of the Zerglings. Banelings need to come in and absolutely blow these to shreds. They are now going to come in, and they do take out all of them. So nice utilization of the Banelings. Too bad he couldn't have done that before, before losing all that zer all those Zerglings. But uh, I think he's going to need to change up his tactics a little if he wants to take out TLO in this game. TLO, well, like I said, already does have his uh, third or second expansion up. And as I was saying with these supply depots, uh, <laughs> it stops the Zerglings from getting a surround, of course, and... Uh, less damage can be done. 
That so low loves you guys. I'm not sure. Something must have been said in private or in vent. I don't know. But uh, anyways, it looks like both players are moving out with their respective armies. Zerglings and... Oh, and because he's got the Zelnug Watchtower, he does see Liquid TLO's army pushing out. A couple Zerglings try to come around for a flank and, t flank and take out the Thors, but the Siege Tanks do get sieged up. Hellions on the top providing sight. Uh, fungal Growth now coming on on a few of them. That is going to allow the Zerglings to take them out pretty quick. Uh, Thor here being brave and trying to push out, maybe just to give these Siege Tanks some more uh, sight. Uh, a couple more Hellions here, and we are now getting the third hatchery up for Splato. But if TLO, he does see this with his floating barracks, and I believe Splato doesn't see that, so not a good thing for him. And with TLO constantly pushing forward with Siege, sieging some, unsieging, kind of like a leapfrog that he used to do back in uh, StarCraft 1. Neural Parasite coming down on both Thors and a Siege Tank, but uh, those two Infestors do get taken out. This uh, next, yes, next Infestor does get taken out. So really nice micromanagement by him, but uh, TLO did counter the micromanagement by taking out those Infestors ASAP, and it looks like they're not going to be able to get off anymore. And TLO does take Game 2 as well, so that is going to be it for the series between TLO and Splato. So now we've got Team Liquid up uh, two series to none against uh, Team Unlike. And we've got a third set of series coming up just before the 2 vs. 2 matches, so stay tuned.